Welcome. So I like this problem uh, purely for the mere fact of it gets students so confused when they look at this and say, ah, fraction, I don't know what to do with a fraction. Ah, nah, nah, nah. Make sure, ladies and gentlemen, when you look at a fraction, the main important thing is we want to do is get rid of the fraction, right? Don't worry about it That's a fraction. Just say, you know what? I'm done with you, fraction. I'm moving on. I'm going to get rid of you. So if you're in the denominator, I'm going to multiply by you in the numerator. And I'm going to do that on both sides. Therefore, those now divide out to 1. So I'm left with 119 equals 7 times e to the 6x minus 14. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Now I have an equation that does not have a fraction in it. So now I need to solve for this e to the 6x. So to do that, I need to isolate it. So I'm going to divide by 7 on both sides. 119 divided by 7 is 17 equals e to the 6x minus 14. Now I'll add 14 on both sides. Therefore, that's going to be 31 equals e to the 6x. I could um, take the natural logarithm of both sides, or I could also just convert this to exponential form, which would be ln of 31 equals 6x, right? Because that's going to have base e down there. So then I divide by 6, divide by 6. So now to determine my equation, which would be x equals ln of 31 divided by 6. So I do ln 31, use my parentheses, divide by 6. So therefore, x equals approximately 0.57. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve a problem um, when you have fractions on your exponent. Thanks.